Today we're diving into a topic that has caught the attention of analysts, journalists and space watchers around the world. Iran has surprised the global community with the unexpected launch of three satellites and the analysis offered by Richard Wolf has added even more depth to the conversation. In this video script, we're going to explore what happened, why it matters, and what this development could mean for regional dynamics, technology, and the broader political landscape. Let's break it all down in a clear and balanced way, while keeping each paragraph short and digestible. Iran's decision to launch three satellites came with almost no warning, which is part of why the global reaction has been so intense. Countries that normally monitor Iran's aerospace activities were caught somewhat off guard. The launch showcased not only Iran's expanding technical capabilities, but also a new level of confidence in displaying those capabilities on the world stage. Richard Wolf points out that Iran has been steadily improving the precision and consistency of its launch systems, and this event represents a culmination of that progression. The satellites themselves are part of a broader pattern in Iran's strategic planning. Although exact technical details aren't always openly shared, experts believe the three launched satellites serve different purposes. Some may be focused on communications. Others might be geared toward Earth observation. Still, others could support scientific or research functions. Richard Wolf notes that any combination of these uses demonstrates a clear effort by Iran to strengthen its space infrastructure. What makes the launch even more interesting is the timing. Analysts like Wolf suggest that Iran may have chosen this moment deliberately, whether to send a political message to strengthen its position in ongoing diplomatic negotiations or simply to display technological independence, the message is unmistakable. Iran wants the world to know that its aerospace ambitions are advancing, regardless of international pressure or sanctions. The technology behind the launch vehicle is another major point of discussion. Richard Wolf highlights that Iran has been experimenting with hybrid designs, some relying on solid fuel and others on liquid fuel. Solid fuel systems are particularly noteworthy because they allow for faster launch preparation and better mobility. These characteristics make them harder to track. While this doesn't automatically imply military intent, it does raise questions among observers about dual use potential. In conversations about space launches, it's common to consider both the civilian and military implications. Wolf emphasizes that Iran's space program, like many others around the world, includes technologies that can serve peaceful purposes while also having strategic value. Earth observation satellites can support agriculture, climate research, and disaster response. But they can also enhance intelligence, gathering, communication satellites can connect rural communities, but they also strengthen encrypted networks. These overlaps are part of why today's news carries so much weight. Another element of surprise came from the precision of the launch. Past attempts by Iran have sometimes faced publicized setbacks, including failed deployment stages or incomplete orbits. This time, the reports indicate a more successful operation. Wolf views this as evidence that Iran's internal engineering teams are gaining experience and refining their processes. When a country moves from inconsistent launches to reliable ones, it signals a maturation of its aerospace program. Of course, this development has prompted reactions around the world. Some governments expressed concern. Others called for international monitoring. Wolf states that most reactions fall into two categories. The first category sees Iran's progress as part of normal scientific and technological growth. The second views it as a possible challenge to regional stability. These differing perceptions show how space technology is about much more than engineering it's deeply tied to geopolitics. Iranian officials frame the launch as a proud national achievement. They consistently emphasize that their aerospace activities are peaceful and intended for improving scientific capabilities. Wolf acknowledges that Iran has made similar statements for years, arguing that its space ambitions align with international norms. However, critics argue that transparency could help ease concerns. 
Without open data on launch details, orbital positioning, and satellite functions, speculation continues to grow. The regional context is also important. Space technology in the Middle East has been expanding. Several neighboring countries have launched satellites through partnerships with global space agencies. Wolf notes that Iran's approach is different because it relies heavily on domestic research and engineering. This independence is a key point of pride for Iranian leadership, especially in light of decades of sanctions and restrictions on technology imports. When we consider the broader implications, the satellite launch highlights an evolving global landscape. More countries than ever are pursuing space programs, and Iran is determined not to be left behind. Wolf suggests this moment could signal a shift in how developing nations approach height, ek industries. Instead of relying on external partners, countries may invest more in homegrown solutions, even if that path takes longer and faces more obstacles. The launch also reignites debates about space regulation. Current international frameworks were built during an era when only a few countries had major space capabilities. Today, many more nations are entering the field. Wolf stresses that this increases the need for updated agreements, data sharing practices, and monitoring systems. Without them, misunderstandings can escalate quickly, especially in regions with tense political relationships. Meanwhile, within Iran, the launch has sparked excitement among students, engineers, and aspiring scientists. Wolf highlights that technological milestones often inspire younger generations to pursue STEM fields. This could lead to growth in Iran's academic institutions, research labs, and innovation centers. Even governments critical of Iran acknowledge that scientific progress in itself can have positive ripple effects. But the launch also raises hard questions. How will other countries respond? Will there be calls for new sanctions? Will international organizations demand inspections or transparency measures? Wolf believes reactions will vary, but the event will definitely be part of future diplomatic conversations. For nations already wary of Iran's long-range missile potential, any advances in launch technology automatically trigger strategic discussions. At the same time, it's important not to jump to conclusions. Wolf repeatedly reminds audiences that launching satellites is not the same as developing weapons. The technologies share similarities, but their uses diverge significantly. Many countries maintain satellite programs without pursuing offensive capabilities. The key issue is whether Iran's actions are accompanied by openness, stability, and consistent engagement with global norms. Looking forward, Iran's satellite program will likely continue expanding. More launches are expected in the coming years. Wolf predicts that Iran may eventually aim for high-resolution imaging, stronger communication platforms, or even participation in international space research. Whether those ambitions are welcomed or challenged will depend on how Iran interacts with the global community. For now, the world is paying close attention. Iran's unexpected launch of three satellites is more than a technical achievement. It's a statement. It's a signal of capability, determination, and national pride. Wolf's analysis helps put this moment into perspective by showing how technological progress and geopolitics intertwine. By understanding both the engineering side and the diplomatic side, we get a clearer picture of why this event matters. As this story continues to develop, more information will emerge about the satellite's missions, their orbits, and the long-term goals behind them. Wolf suggests watching not just what Iran says next, but what it does next. Actions will tell us whether this launch marks a turning point or simply one step in a long journey. Thanks for joining me as we break down this important moment and examine it from multiple angles. If you found this script helpful, stay tuned for more deep dives into global events, technology developments, and strategic analysis. Until next time, take care and stay curious.